Watkins, great performance, great night. What result tonight? Yeah, brilliant. Um, just said in there, that's, that's got to be the standard now. That and Grimsby, the performance, people jumping in front of it, maybe getting three points when we don't thoroughly deserve it. So um, to come away with a win and three points back to back at home, to hear the place rocking the way it was is an amazing feeling. Obviously the gaffer's gone unchanged from the side that beat Grimsby. Obviously Renault's come back in as well. It's you know important to get a winning team continuing in that sort of form. Yeah, no, obviously I think also the gaffer hasn't got got that many players that are that fit at the minute so it, it's an opportunity for every single one of us that are in the starting 11 to, to keep that place. I think the young boys have been brilliant, I said it a minute ago, Tommy and Alfie, the last two games have been, they've been brilliant, there's no fear with them, um, there's no fear factor and obviously that we can only look up so for Gaffer, yeah, he's, he's, he's got it right again. Of course, it gives Gap a bit of a headache as well for when those players do come back and there's levels of room raised. Yeah, but that's the, that's the standard. That's what it's, the higher you go, you've got to do that. You've got to have competition in all places and uh, a team full of hungry players is a team that does well. So, yeah, Gap a headache is, is what we want. Looking back at the first half, it's quite an even affair. Not many, too many chances, but you know, against a side like Torquay, you sort of expect that, the, the sort of player and team they are. Yeah, Gary Johnson's team don't get, like, remember they were in the playoff final last year, so for them to, to be here and to, to play the way we did is, is brilliant. We, you get what you, you give them with them, they, they set it, they go long, they're horrible, they win their headers, but they're organised and we broke them down eventually, so yeah, brilliant. Let's go through the second half, obviously Jacob comes on replacing Cody, a slight change in formation, another man forward and then you step up and get the winning goal from the free kick. Yeah, no, obviously um, with the change Cody had to come off, he was feeling his, his foot at half time, so for him to be able to play what an extra 15 20 minutes is is brilliant from him um yeah we went to a four jacob jacob's got that quality where he drives at player same as mo um when i put the ball down i just i thought i've got to step up here this is what what leaders do and to put it in the top corner i, I couldn't quite see i was going like that a bit like that to see whether it went in but the boy's reaction let me know that i scored and i went straight over to my family just talk about that, obviously, your family here as well. A great night for both your actual family and the Aldershot family as well. Yeah, definitely. They're all as one. And like the the feeling you get when you, you scored is amazing. And for, like my mum was there to see. That's my first goal in front of her. And my, I, my family bring five, six people every week. They love it here. Um, it's been part of our lives now for four years. Um, so And for the fans, I, I hope that I'm, I'm starting to to become someone that they, they really look up to. Because you put it on social media, didn't you? You said, you know, this is the team after Grimsby, this is the team that we want to see. And, you know, you can really start to see that now, especially after tonight. Yeah, definitely. I have no question marks over the team. I, I've had no question marks from day one. I think it, it just comes down to, and not their ability, it just comes down to their mental, their mentality. Um, like when defending, attacking, um, experience when it comes to, to winning and stuff like that. And we're starting to, to find that that, um, well, I can't think of the word, but we're starting to find that horrible side where people going down with cramp when we're winning, people hitting corner flags when we're winning, people going down when we're getting free kicks. So that's the sort of stuff you've got to do when you're winning. And when, you, when you're losing, you've got to find, find a way, and we found a way today. Of course, obviously, free kicks. You're on our set pieces from corners and long free kicks. I think of that. Have you been practising your, your direct free kicks as well? Well, I, get, I feel like I get a lot of... Uh, comments on my free kicks and corners um, I, I do what I'm told I hit the front post when I'm told I hit the back post when I'm told I have no question marks over my ability um, from dead ball situations and I think today I've proved that um, and I'll try and continue to prove people wrong um, when it, with regards to my set pieces of course as a defender as well another clean sheet another positive from the night yeah, that's the first clean sheet. Um, I set myself a target of 14 clean sheets at the beginning of the season. Um, obviously, it's been a tough, tough road now, but hopefully that can be the start. And if we can get 14 clean sheets from now, that'll be a brilliant return with the next, what, 28 games, 27 games? Of course, we look ahead to Saturday's game, a long trip away to Kings Lynn, but we're going to it full of confidence. Yeah, we're preparing right. We're going down the day before, which is amazing from the club. We don't do that that often, so we've got everything in our, in our favour. We can prepare right. We, we go there and, and we play against them like we play against anyone else. So um, they, They're a good side, they proved that here last year. Um, their position is obviously where they are, but if we go and press on the front foot, hopefully we can, we can go and get a result. Are you a movie shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video, click here to subscribe.